Enterprise acknowledges the Tasmanian Aboriginal community as the traditional owners of the land on which we operate, and I pay respect to their elders past, present and emerging. I'm Casey Farrell, General Manager of Enterprise. Welcome to Demo Day for the first 2020 cohort of our Big Ideas Challenge. The Big Ideas Challenge is, for many, the very first insight to lean startup methodology and the very first step on an entrepreneurial journey. The program teaches the startup business basics, from ideation through to pitching, with participants focusing heavily on the innovation mindset and business model design. Originally designed as an intensive two-day in-person boot camp, COVID-19 had other plans. With a global pandemic in full force and event restrictions in place, we moved the Big Ideas Challenge online, requiring a full rework of the content. The enterprise team, Caitlin and Hope in Launceston, Joanna and Amy in Hobart, our expert in residence, Brian, and advisor, Richard, pulled out all stops to make sure the program went ahead. We're extremely pleased with the success of the Digital Big Ideas Challenge, and our brand new online learning platform has opened a world of opportunities for the way we deliver content across Tasmania. Our programs are designed to help founders commence or continue their startup journeys with ideas that have potential for fast global growth, not relying on human resources to scale, and with an unknown or untested business model. This is the core of what makes a startup, the combination of high risk and huge potential. Out in the world, 99% of startups at this early stage will fail. Our purpose is to support Tasmanians to have the very best chance at being in the 1%. The Tasmanian startup ecosystem is still small on a world scale, but it's making rapid strides in the right direction. This year saw applications for our Born Global Incubator in Hobart rise by nearly 200% compared to our 2018 pilot. Participation in the Big Ideas Challenge nearly doubled. Events at enterprise venues in the last 12 months have attracted over 9,000 total attendees. We've also seen the establishment of the Seed Lab Incubator and Energy Lab ran an accelerator cohort in Launceston just before the COVID shutdown. All of this activity will be critical as we rebuild in a post-COVID world. After every recession, the fastest job growth is in new and young businesses. Right now, Tasmanian startups have the best opportunity for success that they've ever had. Today is about the first group who completed the fully online program. The 109 participants, including 60 year 11 and 12 students across Launceston and the Northwest, and the ideas they developed. Today, we celebrate their success. Thank you for joining us for Demo Day. You're about to hear the winning pitches in the four categories that receive submissions. But before we hear from our Big Ideas Challenge winners, we have a couple of short keynotes. First up, we have Michael Ferguson, Minister for State Growth, Science and Technology, then John Perry, Tasmanian Coordinator General and Chair of Enterprise. We all know Tasmania is a great place to live with a vibrant culture that's teeming with creative minds, people who are watching this video. And if you haven't already heard, it's a brilliant place to develop a startup as well. Through our investment in enterprise, the Tasmanian government is supporting the development of more entrepreneurial activity and an energetic startup community for our beautiful state. Enterprise is giving not only access to tools and knowledge and mentoring and support, but also drop in as well as permanent collaboration spaces to help you turn your ideas and concepts into viable commercial projects to start your business and to help solve challenges in our community. And I hope as well employing and training uh, the next generation. So this year Enterprise has developed two flagship programs for the community. The first is the Big Ideas Challenge and the second is the Born Global Incubator. Well, the Big Ideas Challenge has already welcomed over 100 participants including 60 from the north and northwest of Tasmania. It's also served as the perfect foundation for Tasmanian founders to get up and running with their startup journey from the basics of how successful startups are built, how ideas can be tested and validated, and even how ideas should be pitched for investment, um, and of course go to market. 
And the Born Global Incubator, well, that's merged world's best practice methods in startup development with our own Tasmania's most eager early stage startup founders. It's been across a range of industries, including sports tech, tourism, languages, building regulations, entertainment, and fintech. So today's live pitch event will no doubt be inspiring and informative, and I hope these will spark more innovation, more great ideas. These are the things that are so crucial to Tasmania's economic and social future. It will help make sure Tasmania continues to retain its well-earned smart island status because people in other states and other countries have noticed what we're doing. So let's keep going with that. So with no further ado, to everyone who's pitching and presenting today, I want to wish you good luck. I want to thank you for participating in these events. And I also want to say a big thanks to the wider enterprise community. You're doing a great job. I want you to keep going with it. To those watching at home, I hope I can say to you that you'll be inspired by what you see and hear today and perhaps even consider taking part in future events and getting more involved with enterprise. As the Minister for Science and Technology, I think we've come a great distance in a short amount of time and I can't wait to hear about the projects that you and your teams will bring into the world. So good luck. Welcome to Demo Day. It's my pleasure to join you to celebrate the startups and ideas being presented today. As Chair of Enterprise, I'm fortunate to be part of the growth of the organisation, and I'm thrilled with the development of our two flagship programs in 2020, which have been made possible by a successful NISA grant application, the Big Ideas Challenge and our Born Global Incubator. The programs that the Enterprise team, Casey, Caitlin, Joanna, Hope and Amy, have delivered are second to none, with global best practice in lean startup methodology at the forefront of their design. Enterprise is charged with helping build and support the Tasmanian startup ecosystem, creating a vibrant community of innovative, knowledgeable and passionate entrepreneurs across our state with a shared drive to create change, to solve problems and to disrupt industries. We've seen this happen across the globe and we can all name successful startups in Australia and throughout the world, which have gone on to scale into major companies supporting economic development and providing employment not only in their region of origin, but reaching far and wide. Through Enterprise, we and our entrepreneurs are proving that Tasmania is not so very far away, that we're more connected than ever. We have the tools, the resources and networks to provide Tasmanian startups with the best opportunity for success and to take their place on the global stage. And it's not going without notice. Homegrown startups on the cusp of global success are already a part of our community. And along with the globally successful companies choosing to have a presence or indeed a home in Tasmania, all are sharing their insight and expertise within our island and enriching the community we're seeking to build. Demo Day represents another step forward for Tasmania as an enticing place to develop and launch a startup. Congratulations and all the very best to the founders pitching today. Tasmania can't wait to see where your startup journey leads you. Thank you very much, Michael and John, for those words and for your ongoing support of Enterprise. It's now time for the main event. I'll hand over to our Launceston Community Manager and Program Manager for the Big Ideas Challenge, Caitlin Roach, to introduce our winning entries. Today we're presenting eight awards across two categories, commercial and social impact. Within those categories, we have the Enterprise Award as judged by our panel of experts, the Student Enterprise Award, the People's Choice Award, as voted by those who place their votes via the online video pitches, and of course, the Student Public Choice Award. Kicking off with the commercial category, the Enterprise Award goes to Zach Hardman. Congratulations, Zach. Every day, there are thousands of Aussies who need access to a trailer. So what if we could make it easy to hire one locally? In many Australian backyards, there is an existing supply of trailers just waiting to be used. My idea is a customer-to-customer -customer trailer hire platform in a website and mobile app format. The platform will connect trailer owners to hirers and provide a local marketplace where owners have control and flexibility over the pricing and availability of their trailers. We take a small percentage of each transaction and allow users to pay more for greater ad exposure 
or to list multiple trailers. The model is scalable into rural, regional and metropolitan areas all across the country. It's free to use. There is limited competition in this market and with the right platform, it can be the leading solution for easy trailer hire. The Student Enterprise Award in the commercial category goes to Leah Fulbrook. Congratulations, Leah. Let's take a look at your pitch. Way too often, we're caught spending copious amounts of money on things we're never going to use again. Why? Because we need them, right? Events Outlet offers a platform to everyone with any event planning needs, whether you're looking to promote your small developing business, hire a service for a party, or hire out your own expensive party supplies for a little bit of extra money. With Events Outlet, you can do all of it for the smallest price possible. We target our website to local people and businesses, because it's a great way for them to start out. Events Outlet displays every product or service, matching a given criteria, and sorts it by location, availability, ratings, and price, so customers can find exactly what they're looking for at their convenience. To use Events Outlet, all you need to do is pay a small subscription fee. The subscription will need to be renewed manually, so there'll be no unwanted charges to your card when you forget to cancel. Forget using an expensive planner for your next event, all you need is a laptop and events outlet. Thank you. The People's Choice Award in the commercial category goes to Brooks Gofield. Here's Brooks' pitch. Academics, researchers, scientists and students at the 96% of institutions globally who haven't connected their identity systems nationally and internationally find it difficult collaborating with peers in the world's leading organisations. Our product is an academic identity service that provides instant access to the global learning and research ecosystem. I'm Brooks Scurfield. I've spent 10 years working for a non-profit association in Europe, building decentralised identity solutions at institutions around the globe. But in that time, we've only reached 4% of the more than 90,000 known research organisations. I need your help in identifying the business model and funding screens to scale this service. Thank you. And finally, the People's Choice Award for the best student submission in the commercial category is Emily Barwick. Congratulations. Have you ever thought about owning a hover car? Well, they're the next big thing for the future. The hover car is a personal air vehicle or rotable aircraft that offers door-to-door -door transportation by both air and ground where it makes getting from point A to point B faster and easier, where it can be convenient if you're in a rush. But apart from the hover car looking cool, what potential benefits could flying cars bring for the environment? And will potential benefits outweigh the advantages? The hover car runs on a minimal amount of fuel, hence they are quite fuel efficient. You will never have to worry about traffic jams and 100% of automated cars will make them easier to use. Another thing you'll not need to worry about is cyclists and pedestrians when you're up in the air, which also frees up the roads and the streets. Flying is safer than driving, it is more reliable and environmentally friendly both on public roads and in the air. So help be a part of the future and take that step forward with the hover car. And we look forward to seeing Emily's progression to get the hover car off the ground. Moving on to the Social Impact category. The Enterprise Award for the Social Impact Entry in the 2020 Big Ideas Challenge goes to Robert Wallhead on behalf of Team Great Dynamics. For people isolated and suffering from loneliness, our product is a digital social space that helps them reconnect with like-minded people in a meaningful way. 
Loneliness can wreak havoc on an individual's physical, mental and cognitive health and those affected now find themselves searching for a new way to maintain and create social connections. There's real potential for a loneliness crisis to arise out of the ashes of the current pandemic. I have at-risk relatives that haven't left their house in the last four months, I'm sure you do too. Unlike traditional social media, our platform connects people through their interests and we do not employ invasive user profiling to generate advertising revenue. We're building a trust environment where degrees of separation from your existing social connections help you safely create new connections and join communities. Our team and this idea were born at a recent hackathon focused on the COVID-19 crisis and we need your support to make this life-saving project a reality. Thank you. Congratulations to Robert and all of the team. Now the lucky winner of the Enterprise Award in the Student category for Social Impact has also won the People's Choice Award in the Student Social Impact category as well. And that award winner, Gabriella Piva. Congratulations, Gabriella. Let's take a look at that pitch. Every year, thousands of Tasmanians find themselves homeless, in women's shelters for domestic violence, or in hospital for ongoing medical issues. All Together Now is an organisation to make these people feel loved and cared for. How? From donations, care packages will be made and sent out to these people. All Together Now allows you to either compile your own care package, choose it from a list of items from our virtual store, or select a pre-made box. These items may include tea, chocolate, sanitary supplies and toys. Because you can customise your box, you can choose how much you choose to pay. As a thank you, you will receive a photo of the box before it has been sent out. All Together Now takes the guesswork out of donating. What you select will be delivered, guaranteed. Now let's make a difference. All Together Now. And the final award to be presented today, the People's Choice Award, the one that's received the most votes in the social impact category, is Ben Boring. Congratulations, Ben. Here's our final pitch of the day. Share Group is a social enterprise that creates jobs and services in regional communities through the power of synergy using an efficient shared infrastructure and workforce model to deliver sustainable short-stay accommodation, retail and domestic support services. ShackShare will solve regional accommodation shortages by unlocking the potential of vacant shacks, offering seamless property management to busy shack owners and unique accommodation experiences to discerning visitors. The Village Commons will provide retail services not currently available in regional areas, tailored to the unique needs of each community. Share the Load will provide low cost and high quality domestic support services to everyone in regional communities, but with a particular focus on enabling aged community members and people with a disability to live independently. We will launch this unique model in Tasmania with plans to expand to suitable locations across Australia. Vote for Share Group to help us start building vibrant futures for our regional communities. Congratulations to the individuals and teams who succeeded in their respective categories. On behalf of Enterprise, I wish them every success with their future startup journey and with whatever new and exciting ideas they develop along the way. We certainly hope to see some of these faces at Demo Day for the Launceston cohort of the Bourne Global Incubator towards the end of the year. Keep an eye out over the next few days for further information on the Bourne Global Incubator, the next part of the journey for Tasmanian startups. If you or someone you know is ready to take the next step in their entrepreneurial journey, applications are open now for our 2020 Launceston-based cohort, which will run from August to November. Our Hobart cohort completed the 14-week program at the beginning of July, and the 10 graduating teams will pitch their ideas at Digital Demo Day next Friday, the 31st of July. Please visit our website to sign up for next week's Demo Day to hear from Tasmania's most exciting early stage startup founders. I'd like to extend our gratitude to a few program partners. 
the Australian Government's new and existing incubator support program, the Tasmanian Government, City of Launceston and City of Hobart, Foot and Playstead Printers, our expert in residence Brian and advisor Richard, Joe Robinson, the creative technologist, and Bree at Light Noise Films. Thank you all once again for taking the time to join us today. Keep in touch with Enterprise on Facebook or subscribe to our newsletter via the website enterprise.space.